Hey guys, it's Sam here with Custom PC Review, back again with another video unboxing, and today we're going to be checking out the Max Keyboard Durandal G1 NL Red Backlit Mechanical Gaming Keyboard, along with the Durandal G1N Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. So, for those of you guys who follow this YouTube channel, you'll know that I've actually previously unboxed and reviewed the Max Keyboard Nighthawk series. Uh, gaming keyboards and you'll pretty much find the Durandal G1 NL to be quite similar in specifications and of course the functionality. Uh, that said, you will notice that these keyboards are actually branded Tesoro instead of Max Keyboard. But um, it, I'm thinking it's more than likely just a shell uh, as Max Keyboard did get distribution rights for the uh, Tesoro keyboard. So, um, this first keyboard that I'm going to unbox, I'm actually only going to unbox the um, G1 NL just, you know, for time reasons and the fact that these keyboards are just so similar in the box. Um, but with the uh, G1 NL, you will be getting an additional wrist rest. Now, this is just one of those basic plastic wrist rests. Uh, nothing too special. Not, you know, not like the same foam or a foam one that you found in the... Uh, a Nighthawk series. So inside the box you also get of course a little user's manual. It is branded Tesoro um, you know instead of Max Keyboard which is what you find on their website and uh, in there you got that utility CD which is only included in the G1 NL not the standard G1N because it doesn't have any programmable macros. Uh, you also get some documentation there and uh, some product catalogs for Tesoro, if you guys are interested. And of course, just the regular documentation. Nothing too interesting here, but um, you might need it to, you know, learn how to program the macro or something like that. So let's put that back in and actually check out the keyboard. So looking at the spec sheet, the uh, G1N L will actually have full N key rollover over USB red backlighting, programmable macros, and um, onboard memory, full speed USB 2.0 hub, audio, microphone jacks, you know, laser engraved keycaps, gold plated connectors, game mode, and of course the most important, it's going to have Cherry MX Brown key switches. So it's really got the full kitchen sink when um, you know, you're thinking about fully featured uh, mechanical gaming keyboard. So um, taking a look at the keyboard itself, first get that unwrapped there. And uh, as you can see right there, it's got that braided cord. Feels pretty solid, pretty high quality. At the ends there, you got those three and a half millimeter uh, headphone and microphone jacks along with a USB connector. Obviously it is uh, all gold plated, which is nice. Um, and here's the keyboard itself. I'll kind of take that little sticker off and actually take a closer look at the keyboard. So it looks very nice. Um, that's actually not brushed aluminum. It's just kind of a plasticky, um, you know, it's it's plastic finish on top. It just looks like brushed aluminum. Um, so that's that. But otherwise, the keys actually look quite solid. Again, they are the um, laser engraved keycaps. And actually, they, they sort of feel like what you had on the Nighthawk. So it's a pretty good feel. Now we'll just install that wrist rest right there. And it is a plastic one, unfortunately. It's not uh, what we saw in the Nighthawk series where we actually have like a foam or a gel kind of deal. So um, that's a little bit of a bummer, but it's not too bad. Um, in the back here, you do have the uh, feet. And there it is. You got those riser feet, whatever those are. And uh, it's got plastic, mostly plastic, but um, you do see that the keyboard is raised in the back naturally. So you might actually not even need the feet, uh, you know, the, the standing feet at all. Back here, um, there is a notice similar to what we saw on the Nighthawk in that these USB ports aren't uh, powered more than 100 milliamps. So you don't want to be charging like 
you know, iPhones or anything like that, or you don't want to be connecting uh, devices that require a lot of power, you can obviously put in a uh, USB memory key or something like that, but definitely not, say, a two and a half inch external hard drive. So, um, doing a little typing on the keyboard itself, I'll let you guys hear what the Cherry MX Brown key switches sound like. Um, they actually just sound very similar to what we had on the uh, Max Keyboard Nighthawk. So, uh, take a listen. Alright, so now that you guys have seen the Max Keyboard Durandal G1 and L, I'm also going to show you guys the pre-unboxed Max Keyboard G1N. So with this keyboard, a um, couple things that you're not going to get. Uh, of course, you're not going to get that backlighting, which is why the text on the keys are actually much brighter uh, than what you see on the backlit edition of this keyboard. Um, you are still going to get that Cherry MX Brown key switch. So you guys can hear that. You're still going to get MIDI keys. Um, you know, you're still going to get that same basic design, but you're not going to get the uh, wrist rest, the plastic wrist rest, which, um, you know, to be honest, isn't exactly going to be the most comfortable thing anyway. Um, you're not going to get the U onboard uh, USB 2.0 connectors. You're not going to get the audio microphone uh, jacks on the keyboard. You're also no, not going to get that programmable macro functionality. So, um, you know, if that's important to you guys, then this might not be the keyboard that you're looking for. However, it does have, um, you know, all the basic keyboard functionality. It does have a standard, nice uh, US keyboard layout, which is absolutely fantastic. You are also going to get that braided cord and, of course, uh, N key rollover through the PS2 port, so that's great. All right, so next thing we're going to check out is, of course, going to be the backlighting on the Max Keyboard Durando G1 NL. So as you can see here, Max Keyboard always does an absolutely fantastic job when it comes to the backlighting. Um, none of that, you know, uneven backlighting halfway through or or none of that stuff. Every key on its own has its own um, backlighting, which is absolutely fantastic. So uh, as you can see right there, I'm pulling off a couple keys to show you. And um, as you can see, each key does have its own little LED on there. And I'm actually, I've actually been using the Max Keyboard Nighthawk series keyboards right now. And uh, the LEDs haven't had any problems yet. So um, I'm going to take that as a good sign uh, in terms of the quality. So I'm going to scroll through a couple of the modes. It's going to be similar to, of course, the uh, Nighthawk series. You can get three modes of brightness, and then you're going to get a fourth mode at the top, which is going to be the breathing mode. And uh, the breathing mode does go from light to complete darkness back to light again. So uh, for some of you guys, that might not be preferred. For some of you guys, it might be. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, otherwise, I do have a couple more product shots for you guys to take a look at if you guys are interested. So definitely stick around for that. And just want to thank Max Keyboard for sending this out for review. And I want to thank all of you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hey, how's it going guys? It's Sam back here again with another video for you guys and today I am going to be announcing uh, another giveaway because I really like to hook you guys up. And uh, what I've got is the PH-F140TS Fan by Fantex along with the Fantex uh, PH-TC14PE CPU cooler. So um, as you guys all know, this is probably one of the best CPU coolers uh, on the market today. It, it, it certainly is the biggest.